he spoke in a monotone. It's like he had rehearsed it or was reading what he was saying. He had a very non-emotional voice. It was rather odd that something of this nature would appear in a letter such as that written by the Zodiac. He had mentioned the word radiant, which is not in the active vocabulary of 99% of the U.S. population. You know, his first words were, I want to report a double murder. If you'll go one mile east on Columbus Parkway to the public park, and I said, yes, sir, we have a report of a shooting in that area. Uh, I still need to get your name and your location. And he said, uh, you'll find the kids in a brown car. They were shot with a nine millimeter Luger. And I also killed those kids last year. Well, he was looking for a, what you might call a sacrifice at a particular location. And the, the surest way to get a victim to a particular location is to hire a cab driver because a cab driver will go wherever you want him to go for the implied promise of, of payment, except when they got to the end of this trip. I got a very taunting, uh, scary type, creepy feeling from, from the call. And when he got to the end of his statement, uh, it's hard for me to duplicate, but instead of just saying, if you read my report, it means nothing. But if you hear, you know, if you could have heard, I can't explain it as well as I still hear it. Uh, you know, it was, it was from somebody who was really out there, but his, uh, his voice really changed when he came to goodbye. And it wasn't just goodbye. Now it may sound a little silly to people. It didn't to me at the time. But he, he said something like, good bye. And he hangs up. And I'm just kind of sitting there thinking, oh, my God. There was something else that had occurred uh, not only to me, but also to the police and any number of people, and that was the, the, the role of water in, uh, in the entire Zodiac episode. The first murder was in Riverside. There was one committed at the water's edge at Lake Berryessa, Lake Herman Road. In fact, when I went to look at the site where the cab driver was murdered, it was right next to a fire hydrant. So the thought passed through my mind that water might be a clue to his identity. Vallejo Police Department. I want to report a double murder. Yeah, if you go name, one mile east it? on Columbus Parkway, the public park, go find kids in a brown car. They were shot with a 9mm Luger. I also killed those kids last year. Good. Bye. The phone rang, and I recall saying, Officer Slate, Napa Police Department. There was a male voice on the other end of the phone, and he said, I want to report a murder. No, a double murder. They're two miles north of park headquarters, and they were in a white Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. My first thought was the ranger that had found these young people had stopped someone and said, I can't get out on my radio. Would you get to a phone and call and let someone know that what's going on? So my impulse was to find out well, where he was so we could get someone to him to talk to. I asked, where are you now? At that point, he said very calmly, I'm the one that did it. He had a very uh, a precise cadence to his voice. Uh, not an accent, but... Uh, slow and measured, uh, all they want your money, had a real distinctive uh, tone about it, where, which I told the police then that if I ever heard it again, I would be able to recognize it. I haven't heard it again, but, it, but it's had a very unique sound. Napa Police Department. I want to report a murder. No. A double murder. They are 
two miles north of Parking Headquarters. They were in a white Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. I'm the one that did it. But according to Penn, he's an Ivy League lecturer and brilliant mathematician who planned that every letter and every murder follow a pattern of numbers and angles, creating a legacy of evil genius.